right now? Um, yeah, obviously just gutted. Um, you know, the guys put on a huge amount of work to, to get this opportunity to come here and play in another World Cup final and to pretty much do all you could and still not perhaps get across the line with some small margins and I think throughout this whole campaign and a lot of my press conferences have spoken about uncontrollables and there was a, a couple today that were you know um, pretty hard to swallow but uh, you know once again um, take nothing away from England's campaign not just this match but throughout um, you know all the cricket that they've played um, a, a deserved one is I think if either, well, either side walking away with the title today is probably feels fortunate um, having get to or having it sort of go down to obviously a tie after regular time and then um, uh, I think another one wasn't it after six more balls so yeah one of those things eh when you, um, when you put 241 on yeah what, what, what was your, your target? You've been pretty good at predicting what pitches uh, score should be. Yeah, we, we sort of wanted two, 250, 260. Um, <clears throat> we, we knew that it wasn't easy and we were expecting it to to dry a little bit more. Um, and it, it did do that. And I think we saw in, in the first sort of 10 overs um, the movement that we were able to get. Um, and we were able to pick up those early wickets. And I think that was due to to the, the pitch and, and the bowlers putting the ball in, in great areas which they've done all tournament um, yeah I mean it is, it's very difficult to I, I suppose look at one or two areas uh, when the margin is so small and you could look at anything but yeah I, I think the thing you walk away with is the amount of heart and the amount of fight that the guys have shown um, throughout this whole campaign but probably none more than, than the match that we've just witnessed and you know both sides showed that today and it did come down to uh, I don't know how they won it what was it boundaries or something but um, um, you know it was someone had to walk away with the title and we're, we're gutted that it's not us but um, England had a very good campaign and they deserve the victory. Billy, I know it's fresh but the boundary count back as you kind of just alluded to there is, is that a fair way of deciding a, a World Cup final? What, could you <laughs> I suppose you never thought you'd have to ask that question, eh? and I never thought I'd have to answer it. Um, yeah, look, while the emotions are, are raw, it is pretty hard to, to swallow when you know two teams um, work really, really hard to, to get to this this moment in time, and you know when when sort of two attempts to separate them um, with a with a winner and a loser still didn't perhaps. Um, sort of shine with, with one side coming through, you know, it, it just is what it is really, the rules are there at the start um, no one probably thought that we'd have to sort of result to some of that stuff, but yeah, very tough to swallow um, obviously a great game of cricket and I, I think all you guys probably enjoyed it as to everyone else, I think they're still here they want more, but um, <laughs> we're looking forward to putting our feet up now and, and having a bit of a chat and a reflection about our campaign Again before the start of the match, did you guys actually plan for a super over uh, strategy <laughs> before the start of the match? Because uh, you could have probably come out, Martin Guptil uh, wasn't in the greatest of forms that uh, in the tournament. So what was the strategy before the match? Did you guys actually plan for yeah, a super over? But he's such a fast runner and that's all he had to do. Um, and he just was short by a little bit. So unfortunately, um, it, it didn't happen. Um, yeah, we, we didn't really do a, a lot of uh, super over practice, but at the same time, it's cricket and um, guys do work on hitting the ball out of the park and, and that's all that was required. Um, yeah, and we, we tied that too, didn't we? So it was, yeah, one of those days. Kane, is it any consolation that people who watch this game will remember the Black Caps for two moments of outstanding sportsmanship? Uh, one, when signal that Trent Bolt had stood on the rope um, so it wasn't a six when that close to dismissing Ben Stokes um, those things are, are, are remembered by spectators yeah um, I suppose we've just finished the game haven't we so whether people talk about it in years to come we'll have to find out but um, you know it was a fantastic game to be a part of it is quite hard to look at it at, at the whole match sort of in a rational way when um, you know we've just sort of been through what we've been through but um, judging by the, the people that are still hanging around and, and the support that was there long after the match had finished clearly it was a, a great spectacle for everybody.